Hey everyone, my name's Ash, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Freddy Spaghetti on the Xbox Series X and S. And honestly, this is the biggest letdown of a game I've played in ages. So let's jump straight into it. So, Freddy Spaghetti 2.0 is basically a sequel to Freddy Spaghetti that came out last year. Um, it is uh, developed by Playful Pasta and published by Ratalika Games uh, and it was released on the 23rd of the 7th 2021 and for the grand total of £4.99 in the Microsoft Store. Now it's currently 20% off for another 7 days so it's the 30th of the 7th today it's 20% uh, off so it's only £3.99 for another 7 days. And uh, this basically is a follow-up to the first game. Uh, it follows uh, Freddy 2.0, who is a sp like sentient spaghetti. Now, in the first game, you went into, you went back in time. You ran away from the police. You destroyed things. There was like tanks and all sorts. It had a, an ongoing uh, story, and this one just falls flat in every single aspect and i'm so disappointed because i really like the first one and i've been jokingly putting on twitter and stuff that this is going to be a game of the year 2021 and i'm gutted to say it's not even close it it pales in comparison to the original uh, game in every way now uh, i'll quickly read the description and like i always do for these reviews but i thought i'd just share with you how sad this game's made me basically so uh, Freddy 2.0 is here. Freddy Spaghetti is Spaghetti. Oh, and conscious. Freddy 2.0 has got a job. The story starts as you plunge headfirst into the workplace, overcome the environment, master your spaghetti, and run to the coffee machine. Don't be late on your first day. Freddy Spaghetti uses rope physics to simulate a squishy, stretchy, ropey character, and it features fun and easy controls, physics all over the place, unique levels, hilarious and captivating story, professional narration, and heaps of personality. Now, if you played the first one, it plays exactly the same as that. The same control scheme, etc. Uh, it's got the, it's, it's still got a funny story to it. Like I say, it's still got the humour and the voice acting and stuff, which is nice. But where the the original game had like a grand story, this is literally you just at work. And I thought when it got to the end, that was just like the end of chapter one. No, that's just it. It just ends, and it's a very very disappointing is that i'm kind of think of a word that doesn't start with certain ends in hit um but it's 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 just terrible like i say the game itself from start to finish there's 40 levels now some of these levels are literally just walking forward like five paces and that's it um and it took me about 40 minutes to finish and that was only because there's a, a couple of levels where you're playing like ping pong and table football and they're a bit more awkward to you have to like hit the ball back basically and uh, with the jumping physics sometimes you miss it so it took me a few goes on them but every other level I, I flew through basically um but yeah it, it just doesn't go anywhere it's not as crazy and over the top it doesn't have like the wild west and the sci-fi futuristic and the giant spaghetti you're just a spaghetti nothing really important happens it it's terrible it, like the first game i enjoyed from start to finish this one i enjoyed for like five minutes and then it was just boring and i'm sorry it, this feels like you know when you get you love a movie franchise and they make that really pointless sequel just to cash grab and take your money just to live off the name this feels like that in game form it is just a shell of the previous game uh, and i really wanted to like this because it's such a funny concept and they could have gone anywhere with it and even the be getting a job to try and sort of settle down and stuff could have been made funny but it's 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 funny for like five minutes and then they just sort of give up and it's like they've just made enough levels to put achievements on uh, and even then like you repeat the ping pong stage three times you repeat the table football stage three times you repeat some of the other levels a couple of times like it doesn't it's very um trimmed like every level pretty much in the first game was different there was a couple of similar ones but there was different areas and stuff this is very very similar it's all in one office so they're not using any different assets and stuff like that it just feels like a quick crash cash grab game just to make more money out of it and uh, sell you more achievements because obviously it's a quick easy achievement game and i'm disappointed i mean i i, I know these games are quick easy sort of 30 to a minute uh, to an hour achievement games but the first one was so 
unexpectedly good. I just expected more. And honestly, I, I was massively disappointed. Um, I would only recommend this game if you want the achievements. Other than that, it's it just play the first one. It's a hundred times better. Now, so this game is um, optimized for Series X and S. It's got 4K Ultra HD, 60 FPS, and smart delivery, and it'll also work with Xbox One. Um, and like I say, it, it, I would give this a three out of ten, just because it, it's still a little bit of fun to have. But like I say, it's it's shorter than the first game in sort of time it takes to play through. The story's rubbish. The um, it's, it just lacks the charm the original had in pretty much every way. Um, so if they ever do a third one, I, I hope they go back and they make it more interesting they make it grander they actually sort of flesh it out because this felt like a first chapter of a, a bigger game and there wasn't a bigger game that was just it and i i got to the end and it just went back to the menu and i was like oh right literally the last level you just walk out of the door and it just says the end and you're like oh right so um i wouldn't recommend rushing to buy this like i say if you're into your achievements it is on sale, twenty percent off for three ninety nine. It's not a bad price to get a thousand G, but if you're wanting to actually enjoy a, a game that has a sentient sort of um, conscious spaghetti, go for the first game. It is a much better game, and you'll get more out of it in every aspect. Like I say, the original was an eight out of ten for me, and just how fun it was. This one is a, a three out of ten at best, and that is really pushing it. But that's that for this review. I'm going to go and be really disappointed now and find something else to play. Um, give us a like and subscribe. We do have the original Freddy Spaghetti review. I'll put it in the thumbnail uh, on the screen so you can uh, check that one out. But other than that, uh, give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more videos.